Well, here we go. Got some molten aluminum. The rocket stove is working fabulously. Hey everybody. So, I'm excited today. I uh, finally got around to playing with the rocket stove again. So today I'm going to be melting some aluminum and making some, hopefully some square stock from it. So I got the rocket stove going. And I just want to talk a little bit about what I did for my crucible. So I know many of you are going to say, oh, you should buy a crucible, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I will get to it eventually. But for now, I want to show you guys what, that you can do this with garbage. So this is my crucible. It's basically an old propane tank. And what you got to do is you got to take the valve stem off and fill it full of water and drain it first. So then you're sure that uh, it's safe to cut and then you can cut cut the top off and that's all I did. And then I put a uh, little triangular lip here. I just bent with some pliers. I welded a little uh, pouring uh, hook here on the back. So I made myself a couple quick and dirty tools, just something to test some concept here. So this one here is for hooking and then I have a second tool, which will be for pouring. This is actually cooked maple with a hole drilled in the middle. I put a piece, piece of uh, scrap steel I had, and then I got a, a little screw poking through it to hold it in place. And this one's just a little hook. cool cover and it's still big enough for me to drop a can of uh, pop in there aluminum can and I can easily remove the cover the idea is to reduce the size the open area here all right so I got my aluminum in there it's just a bunch of scraps from projects I did See the fire is going pretty good. You can see the flame. I don't know if you can see that. The flame's coming up pretty good. Well, here we go. Got some molten aluminum. The rocket stove is working fabulously. This is a uh, cooked bird's eye maple, so it has a uh, probably only a couple percent of humidity in it. Not fast enough. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna add some. So this is all a little cut off that I kept for this purpose. Woo. Dropping them right in the liquid aluminum. Oh. Pretty cool. Good stuff. The light is low, so just give it a second. Oh yeah, there's a molten aluminum in the bottom there. It looks like snow. Yeah. Oh, that's freaky. It doesn't take long to melt. Uh, once I get the fire going like, like it's going now, it usually takes maybe uh, five minutes. You can see the, the flames flying out the top. <laughs> so what are you going to use all this melted aluminum for? Ah, I'm going to show you in a sec. You have a plan. So my plan to use this mold I made. So this is basically just a flat piece for the bottom. 
and not done I'm just gonna drill a hole here so I can bolt this together this is bolted together so when I take the bolts apart this will make a nice square square stock so rather than melting aluminum and just making ingots I'm gonna make a square stock and I can use this for future projects that's insane don't put your face too close to that Christ this somebody little, this there's like a really I don't know if you can in. see that flame look, look at the, the flame, flame. Goes up to about here. That's insane. Yeah. Oh, the things my husband likes. Imagine what I will do on the third rocket stone. Oh, ah. sweet Jesus, Lord God, protect us, <laughs> especially ah. him. Yeah. I'm asking the good Lord to watch over you so you don't burn yourself to a crisp. Okay. That's gonna melt into the snow. Just a tad. Oh, I can hear it. All right. Aluminum is nice and moving. Watch your hands. Clean off all the crappy slag off the top. It's just disappearing into the snow. I wonder if I can see that. There it goes. Sorry, I'm really not a good videographer. <laughs> he keeps asking me to tape him though. <laughs> There's the flag. Here we go. Here we go, folks. The big pour. Close your fingers and your toes. Or maybe the little pour that doesn't work. I don't know. <laughs> Do you have a spout on that crucible? Do I have a spout? Wow, he's even got a hook. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, it looks like a mercury. Wow, that's freaky. Oh, look at that! Shit, it's it worked. It's enough to fill it! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Not that I don't have oh, faith in him or anything, but that's really surprising. Wow, that is crazy. It's like tin foil. Oh, it's melting into melting the ground. Melting a hole into the snow. Wowzers. Start the timer. It's going to disappear. There we go. <laughs> wow, it's hot. <laughs> okay, back to the floor. Aluminum. That was really cool. Kind of sunk in, but Maybe I'll make two of those. It didn't leak or anything. The mold held pretty good. Not bad, eh? I'm For somebody gonna... who just whipped us up. This stuff <laughs> is aluminum from uh, my future cold frames. And uh, these are just the off cuts. See all these little angles. That'll be a future video that'll be showing. Not sure why you want to see that, but so, hey. <laughs> I'm not sure why they'd want to see that, but hey. <laughs> Anyways, this is a great way to get rid of all your aluminum scraps from all your little projects. Make yourself a little rocket stove and melt them. There you go. I'm really amazed at how well you poured that. that and I made this hook. all out of stuff that cost me nothing. This wow. came from an old popcorn maker. <laughs> it's not where that went. These are little scraps of uh, uh, steel. Uh, I guess I paid a little bit for that. This stainless, got, I got it from um, Recycling Depot. So I got it at a really good deal, good price. Didn't cost me nothing, but it was a good deal. And then, the aluminum came from the recycling depot, and I'm burning all scrap aluminum. So, two. Let this thing cool down. Whoa. <laughs> it's melting into the snow. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. That's not good for the steel, is it? It can't be good. 
I feel like I should stand back. Two, three, four, So that turned out really nice. Nice solid piece of aluminum. The mold worked perfect. Even the edges got rounded, which kind of surprised me because my mold was uh, was actually sharp here. Uh, and I think when the aluminum cooled, it, uh, it shrunk. You can see the, the middle here. Very, very cool. I got some aluminum for some future projects. So. All the guys on YouTube that you uh, use muffin tins and things like that to make uh, little uh, ingots of aluminum. I think this is a, a better way to, uh, to melt your aluminum and, and, and get good, good use out of it. I can use this directly and, and this will actually slide into... I'm pretty happy. Second test is very conclusive. <laughs> so that's very, very hot. Very, very hot. That is molten aluminum. I like when he does this in the winter because I don't have to yeah, worry about him catching stuff on fire. Alright, let's see if I can open this up. No, I think you should leave it a little bit longer, honey. It's still longer. melting into the ground. Yeah. Yeah, you think a little bit longer? Maybe. <laughs> Jeez. Can't even keep snow on it. It's not even remotely cool enough to open. <laughs> 